Hello and welcome to another pattern recognition video. Uh, so today I'm going to do some mate in three or even more patterns. So just more checkmate patterns here, uh, which are always good to focus on. Uh, and remember, solving chess tactics and puzzles reg regularly is one of the fastest ways to improve your chess. And you want to uh, go over these puzzles more than once because if you just look at a puzzle one time, you may just forget it completely. But if you go over puzzles multiple times uh, regularly, they'll kind of be burnt into your memory more. A good way to do it is just uh, go through and play, uh, I don't know, get a group of puzzles and play through them maybe once with five minutes per problem or whatever it takes you to solve them, maybe not five minutes, but then go through the same puzzles again and try and do them a little bit faster each time. Uh, and then, you know, after about the seventh time of going through these, you should be able to solve them in like 10 or 15 seconds or less, and they'll be burnt into your memory more, those patterns. And you don't want to do problems that are too difficult uh, because you know, then you're working more on calculation instead of pattern recognition. All right, in this position, uh, we had a knight capture here, uh, and there's a discovered attack lining up on our king. Uh, so what should we do here? Uh, first thing, look for checks, captures, and threats in that order. All right, we have a queen lined up on the king here, and that's probably our only possibility of a check. So look at checks first because they are you know, most forcing. Let's say we capture here, and pause the video at any time if you wanna you know, think on your own, you know, and you don't want me to give the problem away. Uh, so if not, here we go, queen, captures with check, forcing the king into the corner. Uh, and then we can't go here because this bishop is covering that. Uh, so we would have to go here with check. The bishop would block. Then we would capture the bishop and deliver a mate. So here we go. Capture, check, and mate in three there. Okay, that was rated 1480. Uh, hopefully some of these might be a little bit easier, uh, but let's see here. All right, the queen has lined up on our king here, and you know if our queen was not guarding, there's a possible mate threat here. But white has the move, so how does white go about you know, grabbing the win here. All right. Well, let's see, let's see. We uh, wanna look at checks, of course. All right, our queen is lining up here with a possible check. Our rook is lining up here with a possible check. So how do we finish off our opponent's king? All right, well, we're probably going to have to lure our king away so that one or the other piece may check. So maybe we sacrifice our rook. Uh, and once again, pause if you want to think about this before I give away any answers. Um, you know, maybe rook captures, king captures, then queen checks, the king will be forced to move here. Then we can mate with our other rook. All right, here we go. Capture, check, and mate. So a good little pattern of rooks and uh, queen working together pulling the king into an area where it's more vulnerable. All right, uh, we just had a bishop that was captured here. What do we do next? All right, well, look for those checks first. 
And I'm thinking we can go here. There's a check. The king would have to move. And we can go after the king with our queen. It wants the king or enemy's king has moved here. So we check again with the queen, forcing the king here. Uh, and then our knight can drop back and deliver a mate. So here we go. Check, check, and mate. All right, I hope you're able to find that one. That was a good little pattern there. Uh, and you always want to remember uh, if lines are opened up on the king here, especially if this F pawn has moved on the F7 square, always be on the lookout for possible attack patterns uh, along this diagonal here. All right, on to the next problem. The knight has what? Captured a pawn here? Uh, so, how do we commence an attack? All right. Hmm. Well, okay, look for those checks as usual. Uh, we have a queen check possible, but then they could just capture our queen, uh, and that's not getting us anywhere. So, what are other possible checks? Well, maybe the knight checks. Then there's a couple options. The queen could recapture, and if that happens, then we can deliver a mate up here because the queen will no longer be guarding this g8 square. So, uh, knight captures, pawn is forced to capture, and then queen drops back to deliver a check, forcing the bishop to block, but then we can capture the bishop delivering a mate because the knight that would be protecting that bishop is pinned by the rook. All right, I hope you got all that. Uh, see if you can figure it out in your head. And a good piece of advice when you're doing puzzles is try to do as much in your head as you can. Uh, you know, because in a real game, you can't make a move and then go back because, oh, that was not the right move to make. All right, so here we go. And the queen comes down, and we're able to capture because of the pin on that knight by our rook. Okay, uh, what is this, a capture? All right, well, our rook's under attack, uh, but we're trying to find a way to go after this king. So with checks first, Hmm. We're looking for checks first. So, you know, we have queen checks along this line. And we have a bishop check here. So, if our bishop checked, you know, our king could just move here. And this diagonal is guarded uh, to prevent our queen from coming down here and checking. So maybe our queen has to lead the attack. So queen here. King would be forced to move up. Uh, and now our queen could move here, chasing the king to this square. Um... And then we have a possibility of a pawn uh, you know, pushing here and delivering a check. The bishop would be covering this, so the king uh, would have to move here. And then maybe if our queen goes back to where it was, lining up on the king... Uh, then what? The king could move into the center and our queen could deliver a mate here. 
All right, I know that one was a little bit tricky. Uh, maybe if there are any beginners watching this, uh, but you know, try and figure that out in your head. If you're ready, here we go. Check, check, pawn check. And now we bring our queen back out to the center and deliver a mate here. So that one was a little tougher. A lot going, a lot of moves in that one. That was uh, more than a mate in three. So I hope you found that one. I'll try and do five more puzzles here. Uh, you know, unless I get a bunch of easy ones in a row, but some of these are a little tougher. All right, Rook is attacking our queen, uh, but now that will allow us to deliver a mate. So hopefully you found this one, how to deliver the mate. Look for those checks first. So we don't want to go here or the knight could just capture us. Uh, you know, we don't want to go here or the rook will just capture us. So that leaves here. You know, the knight or the rook could block. If the rook blocks, well then we just capture and it's mate immediately. So the knight will block, uh, we will capture, the rook will block, and then we'll capture with mate. All right, here we go. Check, capture, and mate. All right, on to the next one. Uh, knight is dropping back, attacking our bishop here. Uh, but now that allows a check. So hopefully you found this one. We have a check here. The bishop is covering this diagonal. The queen is attacking on this diagonal. So the king will be forced into the corner. Uh, and then we just have to deliver a back rank mate. So our queen can step up here and deliver that back rank mate. All right, here we go. Check. Oh, that was something I didn't look at. So a good lesson learned here. You know, if you have the time, especially in slower chess games, uh, take a look and make sure you're not surprised by unexpected moves. All right, we can still you know, move up here and now we just deliver a mate backed up by our bishop. So that turned out a little bit differently uh, because I overlooked that rook move. All right, here we go. Uh, queen has what? Stepped forward here. Uh, our king is kind of in a stalemated position, which can be very dangerous. Uh, there's a threat of a mate in one here. So, we need to act immediately. What can we do here? Hmm. All right. Well, look for those checks as usual. Uh, you know, our rook could attack here, but, you know, that would just give up a rook. King could capture. And if our queen went here, the king could just move forward. So instead of checking with the rook and sacrificing the rook, let's check with the queen. And now, you know, if the queen, if the king moves, our rook can be brought in. So we'll have rook and queen lining up here. Uh, the bishop is covering this square, so if the king tries to move here, uh, we can mate by jumping our queen here. So, check. Oh, the blocking move. I have to keep an eye on those uh, overlooked moves like that, because that could be a problem if that uh, rook were protected when it moved there, but it was not. Okay, hopefully you got that one. Let's knock out this next one. All right. Um, hmm. King up to G4. Okay, we checked, or the king was in check by our rook. 
All right. Well, this one looks uh, pretty straightforward. Just look at the checks and hopefully you'll be able to solve this one. So, uh, bishop checks. The rook is cutting off a backward retreat by the king. Uh, so the king will have to come forward or move to the side, here or here. Um, you know, if the king moves here to h4, then our rook can deliver a check over there from here. And the king would have to move up here anyway, and then our pawn could deliver a mate. All right, hopefully you found this one. Check, check, and then the pawn delivers the mate here with the help of a bishop uh, and a rook covering this. All right, problem number 10. Let's see what happens. Uh, rook just captured what, our rook here? Okay, what can white do in this position? Well, look for checks which we don't have many we have a rook check here that does unleash a discovered attack here so that's what we need to look at all right the rook is going to check king will be forced to capture then our queen can go here capturing with check the king will have to move here. And then our knight will be able to deliver another check. The king will go here and our queen can mate on e7. So I hope you got all that. Um, you know, try and go back over it and figure it out in your head. Uh, you know, pause if you need more time. If not, here we go. All right, check. Capture with check. The knight delivers check and mate here on e7. All right. Well, uh, that was 10 problems. Uh, I think I'll stop there so the video doesn't drag on too long. Feel free to leave comments as usual. Um, you know, like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. Uh, stick around or stay tuned in the next few days. Uh, the World Chess Championship is ongoing, so I've been dropping uh, daily videos or you know, most days whenever the World Chess Championship has a game that's being played. I try to do a game on those. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you for watching and have a super chess day.